Will the housing market crash in 2023? Housing prices are only forecasted to drop 1% in 2023, according to new market survey forecast from Royal LePage. The aggregate price or median price of a home in Canada is set to drop just 1% year over year, something that might disappoint hopeful home buyers who expected rising interest rates to push down housing prices. Hi, Judith Hernadi here, a local real estate agent from Campbell River, BC. Let's dive into it. After nearly two years of record price increases, steep hike in household savings combined with low mortgage costs and the desire for more space during COVID, the frenzied housing market overshot and the inevitable market correction began. This was strengthened by rapidly rising mortgage rates. This correction, however, has not followed historical patterns. While less homes listed and sold in the market, home prices have held on, only declined slightly. We see this as a continuing trend. The historical pattern would be the climbing mortgage rates lower buyers' buying power. Less buying power means buyers are priced out of the market, reducing demand, and this causing lower or falling home prices. And with that, people who want to sell their homes need to sell them at a discount so prices drop. This is the historical pattern. So home prices haven't fallen according to this, and expecting not to fall too much in the future. Why is that? The supply of homes for sale must exceed demand in order for prices to drop significantly, and this is not happening. Additionally, Canada is struggling with an acute long-term housing supply shortage. As a result, there is no real change in the number of people looking for a home, nor are there any major changes in the number of homes available for sale. Taken together, that means no big changes are expected in housing prices. We all know that the mortgage rates have increased rapidly, but there's a number of factors actually supporting home prices on the other side of things. Incomes are actually getting a little higher. People are working, salaries are rising. Unemployment is very, very low by historical standards. Homes are a little bit cheaper. On top of that, savings are still about three times higher than normal. People have money for down payments and they have more disposable income because of salary increases. And those homes are a little cheaper this time around. So you add all that up and it offsets a significant amount of the increased cost of borrowing. Drum roll, 2023 predictions. While single family detached housing is, is expected to drop 2% year over year, condominium prices will increase by 1% year over year. This represents a change from COVID times when condos were out of style during the height of the pandemic lockdown. Without a significant increase in housing supply, a return of buyers to the market, some driven by very high rental rates, should start to put upward pressure on prices again. And in a tight inventory market, sellers will remain hesitant to list their properties if they are unable to find a move up home to purchase. It is important to note that many would-be buyers currently sitting on the sidelines have not been forced to exit the market. While some of these families have been priced out for now by rising mortgage rates, we believe some have voluntarily adopted a wait-and-see attitude. When interest rates appear to have stabilized, those buyers may jump back on the market, anticipating a return to escalating home values and competing buyers once again. I can't wait to see what the real estate market brings next year. And I wonder if my crystal ball worked well for me to create this video. For those buyers and sellers out there, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me. My contact information is below.